Mm. No, because it does seem amazing. Like even when you do something that she shouldn't trust you for and that, that you fight about, she does come back to you. Mm -hmm. Well, he's, he really is the one person that knows about all of this. So I think as much as she has this very tough exterior, there's a fondness there. And, and um, I think there's, uh, it's, it's, yeah, he's necessary to this, this plan, but also to just her sanity, I think. And, um, and I, I think there's also a sense when she's with him that she's, she's not alone, which she's been alone so much. Well, that's what actually the so concept sad. was for both of you guys, was that you're, such, you're, you're a misfit without a family, and so are you. Yep. And so the, bringing these two um, together was what is, and I am going to side with Emily on this, it was meant to be a, a sibling uh, relationship, and, um, and those are fraught often. <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> she's the only is. one who understands me, man. <laughs> so, I, but but that's that's got a, a nice, like, warm, beating yeah. heart that, that we need in this show. Otherwise, um, it's just a lot of nastiness. Yeah, and, and yeah, I mean, and I think there's something very true about how she can reveal herself in front of Nolan that she's constantly biting her lip and sort of tight smiling, crocking all over the place, and. Uh, you know, she, yeah, so, so I, 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 I like that she feels comfortable enough to show her Yeah, well, and, and going back to, to, you know, making sure that the character remains likable and rooting for her, I mean, it's important to see her in those moments of vulnerability, and, um, and there are only a few, a handful of moments where you get to see that in flashbacks and with Nolan. Um, occasionally we got to see it with, uh, with Amanda Margarita's character is brilliant as well. Um, so I think that I think that that lends itself well. This relationship lends itself well for you know to that element of the story. Yeah. So you seem to have the gift of that one-liner that sums up the scene. Where did that come from? <laughs> <laughs> it was like I was never I was never like a funny guy before or something. You know, it was kind of like it was kind of the sad sack. I, or maybe this is a through line, like kind of got <laughs> dumped or like <laughs> you know or something, and and then. Uh, yeah, all of a sudden with this part, I mean, it, it, it's just sort of evolved, I guess. Um, I mean, credit to, to Mike. Thank you for those lines, Mike. <laughs> you know? Thank you. They're not, they're not yeah. all mine. I do have a... And, and, and these guys, too. I love you, writers. I, I do. I mean, it, yeah, they're, they're, they're great. It's just I, I wish I were half as creative and could mm -hmm. spin these type of thoughts the way that he does. But... Oh my gosh, what great fun. Do you, you have a favorite? These, you do these inventive things that, yeah. I, tell, that I never... Do I get inventive with it? I like Maybe. to smell everything. It started, you know, it started an episode, uh, I don't know, but it was... Um, it did, it took on a life it was, of its no, own. It was at the, at the bar, and you were talking to Jack about something, and you had your hands on that little shuffleboard thing, and there's oh, yeah. some sawdust in there, and he goes, and he puts his hands on, and he's talking to Jack, and then he goes... <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then he goes... <laughs> and then, but you do that now with just about everything. Unfortunately, in that croissant sandwich, which we I think make. Oh, do we? We missed the croissant sandwich sniff. No, no, no. It's, oh, we didn't oh, get it in the, there. The smelling it? in the bag. We had to. We had to. Because yes, yes. right. we were doing something terrible in the background. Yeah. Oh no, I'm All sorry. <laughs> no, but there. Are, but, but I love those little. Those little pieces. Those little uh, Nolanisms you put in there are solely you. So please. Take credit, my friend. Well, thank you, Mike. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I mean, how do you pick a, a line? I, for, for some reason, Fomanda has really stuck. And this, <laughs> I mean, all, all, all I can really remember is sort Revengenda of... Revengenda was it. Yeah, Revengenda. <laughs> that's, that, that was another fun one. Um, I, I think I liked the, uh, the homicidal stripper version of Whack-A-Mole. That one was... <laughs> Great. What was the one that made me crack? Which one made me laugh? Oh, literally, you cracked on all I said was, never mind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and she, like, lost her cookies. I was like, <laughs> I was like, really, on a never mind? She loved that. Um, delivery, it's all in the delivery. It was a delivery? It was great. Right. Good times. <laughs> <laughs>